Hello students, now come to the last exercise of this chapter. Rounding off, okay? Rounding off. Round off the following numbers to the nearest 10. There were a few examples were given and I have already opted only 4. 1, 4, 6 and 7. Let I will, uh, let's see how we will solve this one. For first, 47. Nearest 10. So see, 47 falls in between 40 and 50. Here, 7 is greater than 5. Therefore, 47 is rounded off to 50. As I explained in earlier video. Okay. Now let's see for the next example. Four number. 385. Here 385 falls in between 380 and 390. When we talk about nearest 10, when we talk about nearest 10, so only we will try to solve this two digits, ones, tens. This 85 is in between 80 and 90. But simply you will write the 300, 300, 300. Okay. Now here, here 5 is equal to 5. Therefore, definitely, if 5 is equal to 5, I told you that that number will be more nearer to the higher 10. Okay. So here in this case, 385 is rounded of to which one 390 okay now come to the question number six here six six two nine two again we are talking about nearest ten so we will only see these number these two digits here six two nine two is in between 6290 and higher will be 100 it will become 300 and 6300 because if we add one more 10 here it will become 100 one will come ultimately 6300 so 92 falls in between 90 and 100 so let's see here 2 is less than 5 therefore 6292 is rounded off to nearest 10 will be this one 6290 when we talk about nearest 10 now come to the last one 7 7 3 8 9 here also as because we are talking about nearest 10 only we will see these two digits so 7 3 8 9 falls in between in between what 7 3 8 0 and 7 3 9 0 here nearest 10 we will see one digit here 9 is greater than oh sorry 9 is greater than 5 therefore 7 3 8 9 is rounded off rounded off to Definitely it will move to the higher 10 that is 7390. So I hope you understood this one how to find the how to round off the number to nearest 10. Now <coughs> come to the next question in your book. It is B and it is nearest 100. Let's take some few examples from your book. Uh, Let's take this one, one, two, thirty-one, then three number, one, eight, four, five, then some higher number. Let me take. Uh, okay, six number, two, zero, nine, zero. Only three examples I am taking. 
rest you can do it by yourself it's not too much tough now round off the following number to the nearest hundred this time nearest hundred see for the one here two three one nearest hundred so two three one falls in between as we talk about hundred so we will see we will see three digits here so in between uh, falls in between 200 and 300 so as i told you earlier when we talk about nearest 100 we will try to see the digit in tens place here 3 is there in tens place 3 is here 3 is less than 5 therefore 201 231 will rounded of two near you will write nearest hundred that will be two hundred because three is less than five now come to the next one three three number one eight four five once again i'm telling we're talking about nearest hundred only three digit we will we will see only three digit here so one eight four five falls in between either eight i mean one thousand eight hundred and one thousand nine hundred one thousand eight hundred and one thousand nine hundred for nearest hundred once again i'm telling we will check the tens digit here so here tens digit is four here 4 is less than 5 therefore definitely it will be near to the lower 100 so 1845 rounded of to nearest 100 that will be 1800 is that clear now come to the last one 6 number Two zero nine zero. Once again, hundred you will see two zero nine zero falls in between two. This is ninety. So nearest hundred will be your ah two zero zero and. 2100 okay so in this case if we check here the one uh, tens digit once again i'm talking about nearest hundred so this will be the uh, digit we are going to check one is ten digit here nine is greater than five therefore two zero nine zero rounded of to nearest hundred will be two one double zero so i hope you have understood how to rounding of the number to the nearest 10 now come to the last question that is question number c same question we will talk about nearest thousand now okay nearest thousand let's take few examples from your book one three two five one okay take some higher number five one nine seven three one and uh, let's take six two three one two six okay So I have taken only three questions, the rest you can do it by yourself. Now for one, here it is three, two, five, one. Nearest one thousand. So we will see all the four digits here. So this three, two, five, one falls in between three to five one means three thousand and four thousand. okay now for thousand we will try to check the hundreds place okay here 
in hundred place we have two, which is less than five. If it is less than five, definitely it will be towards the lower thousand. So therefore, three two five one is rounded of to nearest thousand will be three thousand. Is that clear? Now come to the next question five. Let's see here. One nine seven three one. Nearest thousand four digit. We will check four digit here. One nine seven three one falls in between. Definitely, it will be in one nine nine thousand nineteen thousand. Definitely, and the next will be and. The higher will be if we add one more here, it will become two thousand twenty thousand. Okay, now here if we check the nearest as because nearest thousand, so we will check the hundreds place. Here hundreds place is seven. Here seven is greater than five. Therefore, one nine seven three one is rounded off. Rounded off to nearest thousand will be twenty thousand. Is that clear? Now come to the last one. Six two three one two six two three one two six. Once again, four digits. So we will only check the four digits here. False. In between two three zero 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 and two four zero zero. So here the hundred place is one, which is less than five. Therefore, this number will move, or it is nearer to the lower thousand. So rounded of Two nearest thousand. We will write here in this line. Will be two three triple zero. So I hope you have understood this one very nicely. First we did rounding the number to the nearest ten, then rounding the number to nearest hundred, and then lastly we are talking about nearest thousand. So I hope you have understood very nicely. Thank you.